Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Hi. Nick. Um, no, I'm actually Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi, I'm, I'm actually Kevin Van Ord, and uh, I'm seated next to Mary Kish, Hello. who's decided to be my uh, my computer person. Yeah, I will be assisting with all of the questions and concerns people might have about <laughs> Dying Light, because as they know, there is no review yet. There's no review yet on GameSpot.com. Uh, there's no review anywhere yet. Um, that's because we didn't get review code till um, today. Lately. <laughs> is that a word? What am I saying? So, but anyway, and since I'm probably not going to have a review up for tomorrow when the game comes out, this is sort of a this is a preliminary thing. We said, hey, can we do a live stream? And they were like, sure, do a live stream. So it's kind of like a review a in the making. Yeah, consider this a, a, a review in progress type thing. Although I've played many hours now. How far are um, you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's it, a, it's well, you know, when you have a when you have a game that that sort of has you know the open worldish stuff. You never really know how far you are. It does keep track of how far you are in the story though. It's sort of, I guess, sort of like Far Cry in that sense, where you sort of know how far you are into the story, but I get distracted. It's easy for me to do in games like this. I just get totally distracted. So you by, think like one day you'll just be stuff. playing it and all of a sudden the credits will roll and you'll say, oh. Well, I mean, most stories have some kind of thrust, right? There's an arc, <laughs> so it's not going to, I'm not going to be like, hey, will you go and uh, pick me up a pack of smokes? And I'm like, sure, I'll go and do that for you, mission giver, and come back and say, congratulations, you picked up the smokes, game over. Usually, usually, <laughs> usually games have a little bit more nuance to their We don't know that. That could be the final, the final mission. Is there any way we can get some sound for, the, for me? I can hear <laughs> I should have asked before. Probably. I didn't know it was, wasn't going to have sound. Josh is on the case. So uh, if you have any questions, um, the best place to ask is uh, in the Twitch chat since it's just easier to keep up there. Thanks, Josh. You're the best. Yeah. Do me a favor. He's my best friend, Josh. He doesn't know it. We've never actually <laughs> hung out. Well, actually, that's not true. We have hung out outside of work, but... But uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's he doesn't cool. know that he's my best friend. If you guys do have questions for Kevin, uh, go ahead and throw a question in your chat, like put question, the word question first, uh, and then put your question. That way I can see it really easily. I'll go ahead and uh, And Mary's totally rad, so you should you should really do what she says. Uh, yeah, people also enjoy my company, like yeah. Josh. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, really it all comes down to Josh. Everything's about Josh. <laughs> Tell me, are you in the middle of a right, mission so right now? I, well, you're always sort of in the middle of a mission if are you want to Are you delivering pizza? What are you doing? But Well, let's, let's oops, let's, uh, let's head off to where the mission is taking me. Let's uh, give you a quick rundown first. So this is a, 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 an open world zombie game from mm -hmm. Techland um, who make Dead Island. And therefore, you might have some idea of what to expect, except here's, here's something which is I don't really, I never cared that much for, for Dead Island, and I'm really enjoying this game. I, you know, that's a really good so, question. I was probably going to bring that up as well. A lot of people who played Dead Island, um, I put uh, many hours into it. I, I didn't finish it because I felt like the missions were really dull and uninteresting and repetitive. Well, it, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I, I want to throw in, too, that, like, the the... One of the biggest changes, of course, over Dead Island is, is of course, all the parkour. But this, I mean, that completely changes the game in many ways, is it, it not? It does sort of change the feel of the game, right? Um, because you're moving around and you get to do things like this. I don't know if people can hear, the, like, there we go. Because the, I'm playing on PS4, and so there's dialogue that comes through the PS4 controller. So I, I, I was kind of like that. Yeah, it's a nice little mechanic. So you play um, as a government agent named Crane. Um, you've been dropped into this uh, this South American city um, in order to infiltrate and get some kind of uh, intelligence um, from a from a potential you know terrorist type dude is is the impression. But like that stuff kind of goes away very quickly, and now you're more involved in just uh, doing. Well, fetch quests for the the game's two different factions at this stage, mm -hmm. and uh, that that was the thing. That was the similarity to Dead Island that that that's still there, um, and is probably my biggest problem right now. Is that you really are just like, oops, that was not well done um, on my part. <laughs> um, so, the, but but you you do end up sort of being an errand boy all of the time. Mm -hmm. And it, it can get a little annoying. The good news is that being out there in the open open world, there's a lot of sense of uh, like 
you know, the, the movement's just fun. It's, there are times where I'm like, God, I really want to get to the other side of the map, and I, I kind of wish I didn't have to jump so, like, to, to walk and run so much to get there. I wish um, there was something a little bit quicker. Do you feel like it, um, I've heard from several people that the game feels a little slow at the beginning. It's slow at the beginning. But it picks up. And it does pick up. I mean, you. That guy's. On the other hand, this is a Techland car. game. Oh, Ooh, hi. He popped up. So this is a Techland game. Like so a piece it does of toast. come with that uh, peculiarly, I, I call it wonk. The, the, oops, hello. On the other hand, you can drop kick zombies. The drop kicking is really fun, it seems. It's oh. my favorite thing to do. Showed you a skeleton. It's because oh. I, uh, oh, that guy is always tough. Guys like that are always tough. The reason is because that's, you, you know you're stunning a dude when you see that. Um, so you, when you see that particular effect, that means you've stunned zombies. Mm -hmm. But like staying on the move is, is really important. Like you can stick around and, and, uh, and hammer on them if you want, but there's weapon degradation. And so you do that enough and, and it's just like... And they're going to keep coming. It's not like you can rid them. They'll just keep spawning. So exactly. you might as well they're, only they're kill them when you need. Always zombies. But sometimes it's good to like get supplies. Right. So there's um, there's um, obviously things you can find to make better weapons, better mm, items. Yes. Is, um, I'm getting a question. Are there ways to augment your mobility? Uh, yes. In fact, this let's, let's take a moment and step back and go into the menu and I'll let's. show you. All sorts of things you can do. Okay, it's so, actually a pretty in intimidating menu. There's a lot of different stuff to do here. So here's here's the map that I've that I've been to so far. All these are safe houses, mm -hmm. um, which, which uh, are zombie-free spaces essentially. But you have to liberate them. Think of them like Far Cry Three, Far Cry 4's towers. Mm -hmm. Like you have to go in. Sometimes you actually do have to climb a really tall tower, and it's a lot more excruciating than in Far Cry Three and Far Cry Four. Because man, they get really tall, and it's so easy to like miss a jump and go tumbling to the bottom. And so, then you have to start all the way from yeah, the beginning. What's this red one? That means that you've that seen means them. That means I haven't cleared this one yet. All right. The green ones I've cleared. The red ones I have not. So quests, that's whatever. We all know what that means. So here's my inventory. Um, you've got your basic weapons, and you can modify them and actually craft more if you want. So here is, for example, um, a knife that I've modified. Okay. And you can sort of look at it and see what modifications I've added to it, like stuff that improves handling, damage, durability, and so on and so forth. So uh, I haven't even used this yet, so I'm looking for it. I'll just switch over to this weapon in a minute, and we can take a look and see how it's... Like well, how, apparently how it's good exquisite. it is. It's exquisite. It says so, you know, because it's right there in the name. Um, so yeah, and then you collect valuables. This is just for selling. This is like RPG trash, basically. Okay. Um, and these are like the parts you use to craft stuff. And you do that in the blueprints menu. And yeah. you can see here all of the blueprints that I've Collected. found and earned and so far. Um, let's, uh, let's make a Molotov because they're really helpful. Um, and you can also uh, create throwing stars at this point. There's probably a lot more throwing weapons that I haven't gotten. There's actually an upgrade, too, for throwing a melee weapon, but I haven't taken that upgrade yet. Let's uh, choose. The exploding throwing stars are awesome and amazing to use because sometimes... <laughs> I'll, I'll just use one and we'll see if it happens, but sometimes a zombie just goes flying into the air. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to behold. And I forgot skills. This, is, this, this, this goes is down the... to the question that was asked to reach. <laughs> And here we are. So there are three types of skills. Um, you, you level them up by doing the things that are related to them. So survivor skills, you, you, you know, skill points you earn by essentially like collecting stuff. Um, power is done by you know, combat. And agility is by moving around the world in lots of interesting ways. Um, so, like here, you you know you, the very thing you start with is like a, a chance to stun when you use a blunt weapon. Um, I can do multiple throws when I have different weapons or different throwing weapons, mm -hmm. and I forgot that I had that. I've never used it. <laughs> I better start working on that. Um, this is the kick stun. Multiple exploding stars. Yeah, all at one time, <laughs> like to different enemies. So I haven't even used that. I forgot I I used I I, I got that. Um, and some other more passive, passive things. Obviously, I haven't gotten that far um, in that stuff, but uh, we'll go back. Agility, um, this is where I like leveling up most because, uh, so for example, this is where 
I got my slide. You can slide. Um, and then, eventually, you unlock the option to uh, break, break enemies' legs, legs when you slide into them. Shit. Um, so that's pretty cool. What can you see? Can you see ahead into the future of the other things that you'll be totally. likely to get? You know, a lot of times when you do skill trees, you don't you don't look at what you're getting next. You look at where you want to be. Yeah. Um, my problem though is that everything sounds kind of cool, and so <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take whatever seems cool at the time, and then I'll figure it out as I go. Let's. I want to see what's uh, in the expert level. Okay. The last let's go four. down. So um, this is just passive upgrade, like you run longer, climb more quickly, et cetera, et cetera. Without getting tired. Right. Okay. This lets you run up a wall or other flat surfaces even after jumping. God, what I wouldn't give to have that now. Health regen, pretty self-explanatory, and ultimate runner, which is the best free runner. So it looks like the ultimate stuff is all mostly just passive, passive. stuff. All right. Well, let's see a really... But uh, when grabbed, you can shake off biters more quickly. That's Instant nice. escape allows you to break free instantly. Um, Looks like here, reducing fall damage, um, forward rolls. Here's one that I actually want and haven't taken, and I want it because you don't just fight zombies. Sometimes you fight like looters and stuff like that. Okay. And they're they're a lot more. They're, they're a little trickier to to deal with, and so vaulting over them would be really helpful because they'll actually like slide back and forth and stuff like that away from you. So I think that's what I'll take the next time I get an upgrade. So. Yeah, it seems really good for being elusive as well at night because uh, we haven't seen this part yet. We're currently I'll, in the I'll day. I'll try to get there, though. But um, it looks like at night you're not fighting, you're running. You are fighting sometimes, but it's best to just not get involved in something. It's only ni it's 9.36 in the morning, though, right now, so hopefully we'll get a chance to get tonight. You can actually sleep. Um, sleep oh. until nighttime or sleep until daytime. So maybe I'll I'll end up doing that. But so that's what you're looking at for for the upgrades. Is stuff is, is three different trees, mm -hmm. and within that there's actually a lot of room. Like as you see, I didn't have to choose everything across, like you know linearly. Like I got to choose, you know, you have to choose certain things to unlock new Looks stuff. Looks like they have to be connected. They, yeah, they're so. connected. But you can like if I don't want to gain the other connected stuff, then I can just move on and do other stuff if those things don't interest me. All right. So, uh, the yeah. The blueprints, do you have to learn those, or do you just, once you have them, you know? You buy them, or you find them in the environment. Okay. What do they cost? Are you talking about, like, buying for, like, bits of food and canned goods, or money? Is there um, a money system in this? How does it work? Yes, there's absolutely. So here's, when you first land, this is, this is the tower, okay? And th right. these are the people that initially... Uh, that initially take you in, um, but soon you become, I won't say double agent, but soon you become sort of working on behalf of both factions in order to help the people in the tower. See, the thing is they need antizen, and that's, that's a medicine that helps keep them from turning into zombies. You've also been infected, you as Crane. Okay. You've been infected. Here is the quartermaster. Um, you pick up survival, like if you get to survival drops, sometimes planes will come across the map and drop um, survival supplies, and if you pick them up and bring them back to the quartermaster, he'll do stuff. And he always has free stuff to give you every day, as long as you go back to him. Sometimes I forget to go back to the tower. That's interesting. That's an interesting mechanic to keep you <laughs> to keep you going back. Yeah. So uh, let's talk to him on. That's a nice screen. It's an change. interesting. It's an interesting <laughs> uh, transition, especially because the first time you take the elevator, you don't see that transition. You actually just get into the elevator, and then the train. Now, like every time you get in, it just like paint going down the, s the screen and stuff. That's weird. But uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I don't know. Yeah, um, I'm getting a few in. Uh, someone wants to know what the touchpad does on the PS4. Um, it opens up the menu, the main menu. It, as far as I know, it doesn't do anything interesting. The only, the only, um, yeah, th that's all it does. Ooh, I have a skill point to spend too. I didn't even realize that. Let's spend that real quick. So help me. Help, let, let's live it up to the, ch the Twitch chat to decide. All right. Um, so I've give got us some options. Master backpacker, which lets me carry more stuff in my backpack. Okay. Um, booster XL. Okay, so you can make boosters. Again, it's sort of like Far Cry, where you can make boosters that enhance um, like survivability and vision and things like that for a period of time. Um, I'm not really. In, I haven't really done much with that. Lower prices in shops. Um, electric fences opens up electric fence traps. So sometimes you want to lure zombies into traps to make them die that way. <laughs> um, and lucky repair, which is getting better at repairs. Um, I assume everybody's going to go for the electric fence because, you know, 
it's the most interesting for people that are watching the game as opposed to playing. I mean, I, I personally, I don't know if I'm allowed to have a vote, but I would go with electrocution immediately. Okay, what are, people what are everybody calling else you the master baker. People like master backpack more. Backpack, um, people, electric fences, put in your votes. I'm just going to read them out a little bit. I feel like and we'll just backpack is winning, right? It's between backpack and fence for sure. Oh, we'll do backpack then. So this this uh, gives me six more slots for carrying weapons. So I'll go ahead and do that. I um, mean, it will be good to like kind of see the variety of weapons. I still would really like to see a knife. Um, yeah, and, I mean, a, and that exploding star. So that'd yeah, be great. I'll use that stuff. So w right now I've got a knife, a hammer, a wrench, and, a, and another hammer. Ooh, a claw, a claw hammer. hammer. So I assume you hold that one backwards, right? Like you're gonna take out. You're nails? asking me too much to notice things. I want to know. <laughs> Let's go over to blueprints real quick too. Um, I think I have. I already did some throwing weapons, right? So another another set of molotovs. You're not just making one molotov, by the way. You're making one set of molotovs. Right. And then you can increase that as you. That's another, some of the other leveling things. Is that like, hey, you make more molotovs or more throwing stars when you when you do a molotov creation. Mm. So. Have you? Um, do you have like fine comparisons with this with State of Decay? Do I've never played ever State of Decay, so I feel like that's uh, that's that's not. So good relevant. for me to bring that one up because I, I honestly don't know. All right, let's um, try. What about co-op? Have you played this with anyone yet? I I've tried. Um, the problem is that there's no nobody's bought the game yet. But enough people have managed to get a hold of the game um, out in the wild from retailers selling it before they're supposed to and stuff like that. Of course. There's sort of an invasion mechanic where if somebody can play the monster. I think so when I get done with them. Um, and invade your world, and then there's this whole thing where the That's team of monsters... That's kind of Dark Soulsy. Sort of, yeah, and then, it, but it's team-based then, and so you've got a team of monsters that try to come after the team of, reg of normals, I guess. But that's not campaign mode, that's a separate mode. No, it happens all in, within the game. Like, if you open it up to the game, you can be doing stuff with, like, your co-op buddies or alone, and suddenly it will just happen, and now suddenly you've got, like, a multiplayer thing happening within the game. And what that entails, when it happens, is the normals have to go out and kill like the, they have to go out and kill like these uh, weird creatures, these these creatures that that allow the the other players to spawn, and the other players come after you to kill you before you can, before you can do that. But they can like pounce on you and kill you in like one hit, and then you use your ultraviolet flashlight to uh, to damage them and make them more vulnerable. So. So where are we right now? What are you doing? So right now I'm I'm in the tower. I'm I'm getting some quests done. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to do this so I can get back into the world. Yeah, this part's boring. You'd be surprised it's though. A bunch of nothing. Is, would you find this game? Would you say it's tense? Is, are you? Yes, there are moments that are sometimes it's boring, um, and some, but mostly not. Th that's very rare that I'm like, gosh. Again, the boring part is like you're just. You're just running errands for everybody, and and I feel like after so after this being such a problem in Dead Island, over s multiple games that maybe they could you know mix it up a little bit. But for now, that's that's the, the boring part. The fun part is sometimes the tension is just incredible. Like you have to run missions, and then you have to uh, get in the middle of zombies. And nighttime is something completely different. Mm. Um, nighttime comes. Um, and then you, and then the uh, the nastiest zombies. They're really fast, and during the daytime you want to avoid um, getting their attention by making lots of noise. Mm. But at nighttime they have vision cones, and as soon as they see you, they'll just start coming and running after you. Um, it's so there are moments where I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> um, how am I going to get out of this mess? It's not like Daisy type stress. Like it, What's happening over to that to the right with those people over there? Those that's just some zombie. What do they do when you're around? Um, you just digging um, on the ground? Well, those dudes, they, they just kind of do zombie uh, things. Can you kill them? Yeah, totally. Let's. This, again, this is my favorite thing to do with the zombies is <laughs> to drop kick. Straight up drop kick. I'd like to see some hammer action. Oh, hammer action? Okay. Hammer. Action. As far as I know, there's no manual mode. Like in, in Dead Island, you you could sort of. Oh, crap. oh, they're behind you. This is what happens when you engage. Is like all of the nearby ones, and then if you make too much noise, 
the really nasty ones come out. How about, um, oh, see, the drop kick's so good because it, it makes them move away. Whereas when you're hammering, they're still really close to you. I just broke that one's legs. Oh. That took away a lot of health. Yeah. What's your health, a uh, hundred point scale? It's a hundred point scale. Um, oh shit. And then each bite looks like it takes about 20 away. So it's. Now the there's a sort of a health <sighs> replenish. Hang on, I've got Molotovs. This will help. Do it. Oh no, that's uh, that's basically a. I think you just threw a bottle it. of it's liquor a, at them. No, it's a thing where I, I basically throw, like fuel, on the ground, and then I have to set it alight. I didn't. I thought I had something different equipped. I thought I had a Molotov equipped, but Molotovs super helpful, as okay. you can see. Seventeen bucks. Oh, that was dumb of me. All right. Let's oh, there's just... a guy behind you. Oh, she's um, she's one of the fast climber types. Holy crap! They are fast. Ah. Oh. Get off of me! This is what happens, like, kind of when you engage. It's like you're you're not meant to do that. You're you're most meant of the to time. mostly just parkour away. Yeah, I mean, it's it's about it's more about <laughs> using all your multops. Oh, it's more about getting away and staying safe than it is engaging them. I mean, right. sometimes I still want the supplies that they might have. What what kind of goodies do you find? You know, like in DayZ, sometimes you can find, or like H1Z1, you can find zombies that have significant weapons on them, making it worthwhile. It's not always, but like sometimes you can get a zombie that's got like, like guns on them and bullets, and that's super helpful. Okay, I'm running. And you haven't found, um, you don't have any guns right now, right? No, you just have... I, 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 uh, I don't. There's a side quest early on that I still haven't done to get a gun for a dude. But I don't know <gasps> when. <laughs> that guy's terrifying. Suck hammer. Oh. I have to. Let's uh, let's use that special knife that I've made and have it <laughs> used. Do you ever feel like you get motion sickness from all the movement? Yes. So this is a not not greatly, but this is something to keep in mind if you play. Um, especially if it happened when you played Mirror's Edge, which it never happened to me when it played Mirror's Edge. So I think that kind of... It's, it's rare now. At first it seemed to be happening a lot, but part of the problem with that is that the initial cutscene... Oh, there's somebody to, to, uh, to rescue over here. How did you see that? It's on your... Yeah, it was on my map. It's like one of those like quick time events where when you like, see, because you're in the see area... On the mini, yeah, see in the, in the, on the mini-map where he's blue? <laughs> Yeah. I have to, I kind of can help him out. How long do you get? Um, until he dies. All right. I like those odds. Usually. All right, let's come over here. Did you drop kick reward. his head off? Oh yeah, that happens sometimes. But in, in terms of like the... Um, well, he's still stuck. Did you really save him? Yeah, yeah, he was in there the whole time. But eventually, like, zombies will break in. Okay. Um, at least what I can see. I don't know if they can get through the the window or not, but uh, you have to be careful. Sometimes you can kill the guy that you're trying to rescue, and that's embarrassing. Like throw a Molotov and then they die. But anyway, part of the problem is, is that the game opens with one of the most like barf-inducing cutscenes <laughs> in, in the sense that um, it's all from first person and you've, you've you know, landed in the area um, and then you're bitten and then you're rescued and there's so much looking around f quickly in lots of different directions and you're being dragged and so on and so forth and it's like the camera's moving so much it's like I feel kind of gross um, and I haven't even really played this game yet. Um, luckily that goes away. So, but there are a few moments still when I'm, when I'm going at full speed um, where I'm like, oh, oops, I missed that jump. And Your I missed parkouring that one skills. You have to be careful about making sure you're looking in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, because it's sometimes, I won't say easy, but it can be a little finicky about making sure that you're looking at the ledge that you want to leap onto. 
I'll try to do something interesting, but I feel some of the most interesting things you can do with zombies has I haven't really unlocked yet. Oh, he's already dead. That only took one drop kick. I just love it so much. <laughs> um, they really go flying. <laughs> it's you know, it's I feel like kind of like I'm kind of gross for loving that so much, but right. I kind of love it. <laughs> so I want to go back to our initial discussions about um, we were talking, we we're kind of comparing this to their previous games. Right, 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 right. And what I'm curious about is because you weren't really maybe a really big fan. I wasn't. Um, how of this Dead is, Island. Uh, yeah, of Dead, Dead Island, how this is better and how this makes you, are you, you obviously are more of a fan of this game so far. Yeah, I am so far. Part of it is that I just, I, I like games that crap. Um, I'm <laughs> running over my head. Um, I like games that make the act of motion fun. And so the addition of the parkour has helped energize that a lot for me. Mm -hmm. It also helps that some of the, like over several games, they've been able to take out some of the wonk. You know what I mean? Like there's, so the animations are a lot better than they used to be. Um, the voice acting is a lot better. <laughs> Um, the characters are more interesting. I feel like the game is serious. And, you know, so if you, if you come sort of for some of that Dead Island jokiness, because mm -hmm. there was jokiness in Dead Island, um, there, there's, this game still has a sense of humor about itself, but it, it's, a different, it, it's a different tone. Um, and I think that helps for me too. And in I general, never felt just, scared playing Dead Island. No. Did you? Like, I never had anxiety. Um, but this one, maybe because of the first person view, really helps you feel like that you this is you and this is really happening. Yeah, and it, and it does help that um, the first impression, aside from aside from the barftastic opening cutscene, <laughs> um, it makes a really good first impression in terms of the voice acting, in terms of the character models, the camera work, all of that stuff comes across as more of a. I hate the term AAA because I feel like it doesn't actually tell you anything, but mm -hmm. it does come across as a more big budget game as opposed to, De you know, Dead Island, which I would say falls squarely in that AA category of, mm -hmm. of, of games that were ambitious but didn't quite have a big enough budget to be, you know, as amazing as they might have been, so... Never and really. It, just, it feels better too. There's less stuttering when I move about the world. They've really cleaned up what it feels like just to generally move. Yeah, Dead Island didn't always feel that great when you were moving around. Yeah, and, and this feels really fluid to me. It looks like you you rarely don't do what you you thought you were going yeah, to do. Yeah, it's you, you usually do. And and I think also the, the, the tension, hopefully I can do something that does ramp up the tension really well. And there's also that nighttime mechanic. Um, yeah, can we see nighttime? Like, how do we? Are you allowed to progress time? Yes. Or how does that work? I can go to a safe house and like and rest for six hours rest. or something. Let me take care of this mission, and then we'll go ahead and do exactly that. That let's, sounds uh, great. Let's do a little Molotoving, and then I'll switch to. I'd like to see some ch like those stars, some star action at some yeah, point as to well. Yeah, come in here and... Uh, um, no, I wasn't around when you started the game. Some people were curious. Um, do you get to choose your character in any way or you're just no, who you are? you are who you are. Um, and who you are is a dude who sounds like Troy Baker when he talks, but is totally not Troy Baker. Interesting. So I think it's something... Yeah, that's totally interesting. Um, to me, because I thought when I did a preview of this, I, I, I was just so convinced it was Troy Baker. I, I, I just, when I was told that it was not, I thought it was a lie. I mean, even when, even when you don't hear their voice, you just assume, assume it's Troy Baker because he's in almost all games. Oh! <gasps> so that's um, a throwing star. Can Another you get it back or once you throw no, it's gone? No, once you throw it, it's done. There we go. They go flying. Yeah, I love it. If they go flying into the air. It's so motivating. Get them. Oh. <laughs> and it, he's got that canister on He was wearing the canister, so it exploded. Oh, oh, shit. So pardon my French. I hope, You're I hope nobody's health. really. Oh, god damn it. This is what happens when you don't pay any attention. <laughs> and then you, it's, it's like an old school RPG where you actually lose experience <laughs> for dying. Oh. But the good thing is you gain like 
extra experience when you do stuff at night. And that's... Well, that's nice of them to reward you for that. Love it. Drop kick time. Oh, oh yeah. It's fairly gory. I'm an awful human being. Watch it. The things that I do. Well, I guess when it's a when it's a zombie or when it's just a mean person, I guess that's okay. Mean people and zombies. Oh wait, that's a that's a human being. Yeah, totally. And I picked up. Oh, he. Blocked it. Did you see yeah, that they with will, his hammer? They will totally block stuff. Oh, he's terrible. Oh, he's dead. That's all right. You can stab dead people. Hang on. What else do I got going in here? Let's uh, let's help things out with a little more Molotov work. Oh. It's, uh... See, I love moments like that. So rewarding. Do you Whoa! like most zombie games? <laughs> Do you get rewarded for headshots in this? Um, I don't think so. But then again, the idea of a headshot in this game, I don't have any. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? I don't have any like guns or anything, so I don't know the that answer to physics, that. That was physics, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> I tried to do a drop, drop kick, kick through, through the, the fence. fence. <laughs> you never know. I mean, this is this is <laughs> this is still, you know, a Techland game. So sometimes you can pull off those weird things. Still. Yeah, have you seen any um, kind of weird glitches? We saw a guy popping. We saw that. We saw that guy popping, popping out of a yeah, it car like a piece of toast. Yeah, fairly frequently. There's lots of col there, there are collision, collision things weirdness. and and stuff like that. Okay, safe zone unlocked. Let's uh, let's head in here. I'm supposed to be out here intimidating dudes on behalf of uh, Rise, mm -hmm. who is the leader of the the, the bad people. Okay. <laughs> He's, you know, you're, are you making assumptions that he's the bad? No, well, he's set up to be the bad people. But honestly, I'd say that at this point, I'm probably the worst because I'm really a triple agent at this stage. You're playing both sides. Yeah, I'm totally, um, I'm totally a government agent mm -hmm. who was sent in to like get stuff from the terrorist who it looks like might be Rise, but I can't tell yet. Um, they were hoping I'd got my last order. So, yeah. I, Maybe I we mean, should turn on subtitles. I wonder if anyone can see these. You want me to turn on subtitles? I can turn on subtitles. People most of the time like subtitles. Sure. Way ahead of you, pal. Yeah, no, I don't think you are. And there's some little touches, too, that I really love. Like, there's a guy <laughs> whose mom died um, years ago. <laughs> He's not all there um, and has basically created this. Um, <laughs> this this stuffed version of his mom with a with a like a like a a pail for a head. Subtitles. Thanks. I I, I it's easy for me that's to get totally right. distracted by myself. Um, <laughs> well, that's almost Borderlands esque myself. to have like a really weird like creepy weirdo dude like that. Yeah. Well, they he what he really wants like the thing that you need to do for him is get his there mom some chocolates and a movie, and he wants the movie Charlie, which is about how smart he is. All right. And that's really interesting, because if you've ever seen Charlie or ever read <laughs> Flowers for Algernon, you know what he's, you know what Charlie is. Um, basically about a film about, about uh, a mentally challenged man who, uh, who has a surgery done on him to make him smart, but he eventually re, re regresses back. Right, like that Simpsons episode where Homer finds out he has a crayon in his brain and has it removed. <laughs> I think I read that book. So yeah, so I like the references. Like some, like it, it might be a lot of fetch quests, but there's some good references. Plus there's some really good visual, some really good visual humor. Um, like there, there's one spot where um, you, you come across the Bites Motel, which is a nice little clever reference. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the covers of magazines and stuff like that, it's hysterical. <laughs> um, some of the things, like like a running magazine that that's basically there to teach people how how to run away from zombies, and then it's like a thousand tips for uh, for one thing or another. I don't know, stuff like that can be really funny. I need to get to a safe house. Did you finish this mission? Yeah, this I got the bag? that thing. Now it's sending me back. Uh, I think it's sending me back to Rise. 
Oh no, I have to go back to the courier. That's, That's kind of so electric. far away. Yeah, but uh, so let's. Um, I'd like to see nighttime. Let's do nighttime. Um, I'll go to. Let's go to the safe house. So we'll do a little bit of running and parkouring and getting around. And as you see, sometimes I still am. Oh, that one just doesn't like me. There we go. So um, then I'll I'll sleep, and I can switch it tonight. What does the sleep do? Anything else? You get health back. You get health save? back. Yeah. I mean, standard, it does save. Standard sleep mode. Yeah, things. it does save, but it's a it's a typical checkpoint. Cha. I sometimes I can't help myself, and then it, I, you can get in trouble because every so often I'll inadvertently set off some kind of explosion. With your feet? With your drop kick? Well, so I'll, I'll kick somebody like into fire and there will be a nearby like uh, like explodey barrel and suddenly something that I've done, something will explode and then all the really bad ones, all the, the, the fast running ones will come after me. Um, Oh, here, you want to see one of some the... Some chemicals and some plastic. Yeah. That's what I keep in my backseat, too. <laughs> one thing that's... Oh! Uh, uh, that Where cement is dead. Yeah. That cement <laughs> is dead, let me tell you. It was turning into a zombie. How convenient. Oh, <laughs> try I again. I missed. Try again. God damn it. <gasps> Get away from me. Run. All right. I'm gonna that prove... one's in a bikini. It's just like Dead Island. God damn it, what is up with me in that jump? <laughs> You're panicking. I am oh, panicking. Get out of there. Hang on. Nice Take call. Take that. Suck fire. And that's another good thing, like drop kicking some of them into the fire. Very rewarding. That's always fun. And they're, tr they're like little little traps and stuff, like little spike traps. And they're really nice about it. Even if you burn their bodies to a little crispy critter, you can still get the money off of them. Yeah. So it technically doesn't burn the money. It doesn't. It reminds well, me of Fallout should. where you can burn like ghouls to a crisp and whatever. And yet, <laughs> and yet, uh, I, that just looks like the kind of thing you should Would be able open. to open. <laughs> Damn it. Or the back of the van. I'm in a safe house. So the rules sort of change when you're in a safe house. So uh, when you're in the safe house, um, you can also... Sleep? Well, you can sleep. This, this stuff is over here. Um, is that where you, you can sleep? also look at, it is. So where's the bed? The bed is... Up. There's a couch over there. Right by? Oh, it's up above. The, the arrows are pointing me up. Plant. So, yeah. Maybe in that chair oh nice here we go nice parkour here we go so Ooh. here's here's sleeping on the couch and here's your stash so you've got like your stash where you can if you start running out of ammo or uh, not ammo just run out of space in your backpack you can start to to save stuff up i'm gonna throw in i haven't used the shovel but i don't know if i really feel the need to use a shovel. maybe i should use the shovel should i use a shovel i'd like to see a few things. Let's go back to your inventory. Shovel is interesting. I'd like to see. I want to see more exploding stars. More throwing stars. And the French right. wrench, if nothing else, for the delightful name. I only ha okay. I only have the burning throwing stars right now, um, but I'll put the French wrench into the uh, the claw hammer. How here. does the French wrench? Or I mean, how does the let's say the burning the burning throwing stars are they burning when they're in your hand? How do they work? Um, you know, I don't think you even see that animation. They I probably just don't even get into the lore. It. They just let yeah, you. Yeah, you, you just, it just kind works. Of don't talk about it. Ex exactly. Don't think. So let me uh, let me make sure to get that uh, throwing star. That was always good. Like in The Last of Us, it was like smoke bombs were. Yeah, they always had like the most random things to make um, some kind of like nail weapon or smoke bomb. Or Let's something see if I like can that. upgrade the French wrench. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have any. Up I don't think I have any upgrades. Nope, no upgrades on me. Let's go into blueprints and see if there's anything. No, I don't have any uh, upgrades to make. But I am making another Molotov. Some people want you to go American damn. and go baseball bat. Oh yeah, I could do baseball bat. 
You want me to do baseball bat? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Um, you can point right before you hit them, just like Babe Ruth. Oh, crap. I, I, I went totally. Let's take both baseball bats back. It's out of the, the ballpark. I, don't talk. <laughs> right out of Christy Field. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's replace, put the, uh, do it that way. I can talk. I'm not good at talking and playing games at the same time. Terrible at it. Okay, nighttime. All right. Um, I, Take I don't a rest. even know that I'm good at playing games at all, for that matter. Here we go. So let's wait until night. Now, one of my favorite things is that when it's nighttime, well, anytime really, when you're running, you can look behind yourself um, as you run. It was only one hour till night. Anyway. I feel like if anyone was ever curious if this game did give anxiety, it would be that you're running and looking behind you and seeing people running just as fast as you right behind you. Are totally. they faster than you? Um, they're just as fast and they can climb. Okay. And, and actually, there's a little bit of annoyance there to me. Um, and, and the reason is because they're more persistent than any GTA cop ever was. <laughs> so they just keep coming. Maybe it's like four star level. Yeah. I mean, they will travel all the way across the map after you. Really? And it's really interesting. Will your light um, get their attention using a flashlight? Does that make them more interested in you? Um, supposedly, but I haven't noticed any much of a difference. <gasps> I think I you broke know. a part of his body. Good. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, he ain't pretty no more. All right, but see on the mini map up at the top right, you can see the, you can see the real meanies, the fast meanies. They I'm have vision the cones. So you have to be really careful about making noise. Light isn't as much of a big deal in this game as noise. Interesting. So you flashlight all the way, but be careful with how much noise you make. I'd like to see the bat. Totally. Can okay. Get the bat wanna, out. Want to get the bat? All right. Get the bat. Where's the bat? Here's the bat. Oh, America. I don't have a really fancy bat. So there's one That's right there. That's the thing there. about bats, though. They don't have oh, to be fancy. He's, he's on to me. He's in your run. cone. Okay. I, Can you I'm look cool. behind you? Oh, that's so creepy how fast Oh, there's run. another one. Get up there. Oh, oh god you're, damn it. You're deep. It looks like I'm covered. Okay. I never said they were smart, but they're consistent. Okay. That's I think that's most what's most important here. You also have like a Batman vision type thing you can do for a second. Like you can send out can you make it harder? Is this like, is there difficulty levels or is it just oh, is yeah. what it is? There, I think there are difficulty levels. Oh, God. Out of the ballpark. Home See, run. There's... Oh, nice. There you there. go. Get up there. All right. I have to repair my bat. What'd you repair it with? Metal parts. All right. It's a. Uh... A necessary resource. Stuff is quick to break. I mean, you can up like you can upgrade that stuff. So, oh, god oh, damn it! You're in the cone. Here we go. Look behind you. Creepy, and it yeah. does it in slow motion when you look behind you. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That see? is really cool. There he comes. <gasps> Jump. And if, see, if I had the leap over stuff, you would have like that would have been so hurtled much better. over those people. That's what you need. All right. The music. Only makes me more anxious. <laughs> Run, Kevin! I'm trying! Oh, God. Can you climb up somewhere fat, or does that not help you? Oh, there's like 30 of them now. It does sort of help you to get... Will all of them climb, or just certain ones? Just those fast ones that have vision cones. And how do you get rid of them? Just by being super sleuthy? Yeah, it's like, well... Or running away. In, in this sense, it, it really is totally getting away from the cops in GTA. You just effing run and uh, get away from, get out of their view, and eventually they'll give up. Just there we go. Run. Pursuit evaded. Yeah. So there. So there you go. It's uh, that's that's. And you can see I got pretty good agility points for, for Honestly, that that's off. also kind of GTA-esque because you get uh, RP for every star you lose. So this is kind of like that where right. maybe based on getting the zombies' attention and losing them, you got agility points for being elusive. One of my favorite things is sometimes those rescue missions, like the one we saw earlier, 
Sometimes you'll come and discover that the guy is hiding in the closet. <laughs> oh, that's Which is terrifying. funny to me. Now these things, like you see there's yeah, what are you doing uh, water. With that? Or, or I would throw, I can throw water. Um, what would you do with it though? You would electrocute it. So this is, like I turned on the, so. Hot uh, shit. Get that comes. guy coming over. Good times, right? Yes. Yeah. But you have oh. to be careful because sometimes you, you'll Fried make a, him. Yeah, totally. But Can sometimes you get, oh, you'll get his loot after he stops being. Beat him with the bat anyway. Oh, <laughs> this is what this is what you've done to me. Turn I'm getting out of here. Turn it back on. I'm not doing anything you want. Oh my god. Get out of here. Go go go. You smash that guy's spine. And there are some things that you can only do, like some quests that you can only do at night. I have this nighttime quest, I think, or did I finish that already? Um, I think, no, this is the one. I have to go, I have to reset this breaker at night. The last time I tried to do this, where, where does this quest exist anyway? Yeah, can you set a waypoint? Yeah, well, there's, as soon as Probably, I did can it, you it zoom sets, out? Oh yeah. I want to just see the map again. How much bigger do you think this map gets? I don't know. Here's where the master panel is. I love when they do that. In Far Cry, there's nothing that kind of makes you want to explore the area than just seeing all these cloudy bits that as, you know you yeah, can investigate. Yeah, as far as I know, we've just got this. Um, and how, how many hours have you been playing so far, ish? I don't know. I feel like I've got, I, I feel like you're looking at like a 10, 10 hours worth of... That's not too long. No, no, not at all. Let's see. I, let's see where it says I am in the uh, story. I think it shows. I'm trying to remember where to see how how much I've finished. There is there is a spot somewhere where you can see how much, uh, like the percentage, of uh, of story. But uh, I don't know where that is. So let's go. Let's go and see if I can finish this. Yeah. Let's see if we can get voltage done. I believe there'll be more electrocution in that one. All oh, right on the dome. <laughs> And my controller is vibrating. Usually that means that there's a, a helicopter nearby. And that means a drop. And, and that means a drop, Even yes. at night, so you can get drops at night. Yes, there are drops at night. I wonder if you get better uh, stuff at night just because it's way more risk. Oh no, he sees you. What's a light trap? That, um, that brings them into UV light. Okay. Um, and then, so they like that, or are they no? Don't like they that? don't like that. They become vulnerable, and so, but they're you can, Bam. they're really only effective at night. I rarely use them. <laughs> I know, right? Like I was an alcoholic. That's so sad. Wow, way to pass judgment on zombies. <laughs> A lot of my best friends are alcoholics, but not zombies. Oh no! Oh shit! Run! Look behind you! <gasps> <laughs> That's so terrifying! He's eating you! He's eating you! Oh my god! They're disgusting! Ah, oh, god! Damn it! Ah! <gasps> Here is. Oh, you got those my cool UV socks flashlight. with the oh, little dip in the go. toe. You is dead. That's the thing you notice. Yeah, those socks are sweet. Oh, I never noticed the socks before. You do get, you do unlock um, different uh, costumes, but of course, this being a first-person game, I can't tell you how little I care about that. <laughs> uh, although I suppose if you're doing like all the multiplayer and co-op stuff, it, it would be nice to to sort of stand out. So you did you lose uh, you you lose a little bit of your skill. Because you, you lose died. What are basically your skill points? Yeah. Okay. It's not a lot. And I mean, did you lose distance as well? It started you back at the safe house. It started back. It, it, it puts you in the the closest safe house. So it's possible I actually gained distance. Um, we'll find out in a second. I was just making some things so that I'm a little more prepared with throwing weapons. Make sure that. Yeah, I think maybe the difference I'm... between surviving and dying at night is having a lot of weapons that you can use from a distance and just being a sneaky mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being very sneaky. It's interesting though, because I feel like when you move from night, from day to night, there is a really interesting change of feel um, in, 
in terms of the way it goes from being sort of like a, a quick parkour game to more of a s stealth game. I mean, it's not like I'm sneaking. I mean, I, I could... Can you crawl? You know, I could crouch and do that. Um, but I don't know... You know, I don't think the game's necessarily encouraging that kind yeah. of behavior. Yeah, well, I mean, the map itself, if you look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, the map itself is showing you cone vision. And to me, that's so indicative of just being elusive. It's about avoiding those right. areas completely. Well, especially in then, and you saw, like, the kind of, like, just momentary stress that you can get just by seeing... Um, the thing behind you when you turn. Oh, I mean, that, that was a freaky moment, right? It was terrifying. And like, his, his mouth was opened up. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. I mean, that's absolutely terrifying. Like, playing during the day, I felt like we were having fun, and there was some, I don't know, I would say maybe it's a little tense just because they can kill you, um, but it's not that bad. Ugh, it's not that hard. That oh, did you break your ankles on that fall? Oh, but just... at night, just the way you feel when you turn around and you see something pretty much on you. Yeah, <laughs> His it's, it's mouth pretty is open. Neat. He's covered in blood. They look disgusting. And now they have, uh, they're stronger at night too, so they do more damage at night. Yeah, totally. You have to be careful when you jump. Um, Faster, stronger. If you, you can sort of think of it as Assassin's Creed in the sense that garbage and a few other things like that will break your fall. <laughs> oh. Which is probably just as ridiculous as imagining a hay bale do it. Um, but it's not like a, an Assassin's Creed leap of faith in the sense that... I'm going to try to... Oh, am I here? I think I'm almost at oh, the cone. place I need to be. There's serious cones going on. Will they go over those fences? Um, not when there's... There's cone... Not, well, they will, but not when there's, uh, they have the same restrictions <gasps> I do. Look at him. So there's barbed wire. That cone is so frightening. They look like, um, oh, they're absolutely disgusting. It looks like they don't even have any skin on their body. It's well, like Attack on Titan, I imagine but they're the... tinier, but still gross. Okay. Crap. Um... And so now things get complicated. <gasps> Have you played this on any other platform? I played preview on PC, but I've only played the, the, the final game on PS4 so far. All right, what are you going to do? You want to like throw a Molotov and just kind of like... I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> firecrackers seem like they might come in handy. Oh, you are in the zone. Get out of there. Oh. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's some... Okay, I might have actually pulled this off. That it? Well, no, I have to get to the breaker. All right. I hope it electrocutes Which everyone at once. apparently is inside. That would be the best. Here we go. Where's, where, where's the, oh, here. No! 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 <laughs> no! This game's terrifying. God damn you! <laughs> it switched from night at that moment. God damn it! We missed it by like 10 seconds. God! No! <laughs> That's heartbreaking. No! And our airdrop was stolen. I know, I'm so upset now. God! Can we sleep somewhere? God, how far away are we from a house? Oh, I'm so upset. No, I'm going to stick to the day for now. I have to nurse my wounds. Poor Kevin. Sorry I was so loud. <laughs> I tend to be loud anyway. Everybody's kind of used to that. That's heartbreaking. I don't want to rap. People are just now getting into it, man. All right, Josh is gonna make me. St oh, goddamn all of you! Let's do a few more kills. I'd like to see some. Oh, oh you oh. are covered. <laughs> you died so fast. That's another one of those to a thousand survivor points lost. I'm still, I'm still upset about that. I'm sorry. Day to yeah. night. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> you really missed it by 10, like not even, like just a few seconds. Oh, that's one of those moments where I wish that there was quick travel. Because <laughs> that, like getting there a lot sooner, and of course being better. Will, will there ever be? Or do you think the whole game there's no travel? Uh, oh, I'm sure that there's no quick travel. That's something that I feel positive about. Ten hours in, they're not going to, like, and with almost all of the map uncovered, they're not going to suddenly, uh, like, oh, by the way, now you can quick travel. That just doesn't seem... Okay, so there's the survivor thing. I'll do that, and then we'll wrap. All right. That sounds good. Don't let them eat me. Please, tear me out. Do you, any other weapons we haven't seen yet? I'd like to see them. Uh, burning throwing star. That sounds good. Let's do that. Oops. That person wearing... Kill. Oh, that guy just fell down. What an idiot. <laughs> I just thought I'd, you know. Oh! oh! It came out of nowhere. You did a knife in your belly. Hang on. Bat, what? bat, bat. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Oh, sometimes when they're down, there's a period of, uh, there's a moment where there's certain things that you, sometimes, and sometimes you'll see them, did you see that one back there just kind of fall over? Yeah. Oh, that guy's, what are they doing? Damn it. Just falling over the... Sometimes they just, that's, that's <laughs> some more of that, uh... Collision, yeah, nice. Come on. I'm trying to... Come here. There we go. You're trying to break some legs? Didn't quite work the way I was doing it, though. Let's see if I can manage it this time. I think there's another one behind you. There oh, we go. That's how I did it. That's right. a broken leg. Yeah, totally. Now what does he do? He just crawl, crawls yeah, on the ground. Yeah, now he can't move. Hey, hey, I got a secret for you. Boom! <laughs> that's not a secret, Kevin. <laughs> and then, and then you know, just for the sake of blood, he just. Oops. Oh, hang on. There's there's more blood to be had here. See, they just. Oh, they're just an endless supply of entertainment. Be like. I know oh, what secrets are. Oh, here we go. Are. Give me my cash yeah, reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some All right, money. let's do a little looting, and then I guess we'll call it a day. All right. Any other weapons we haven't seen yet? <sighs> Not. I don't know if there's. Oh wait. Yeah, that's true. Hang on. Is have I used the uh, the hammer? I'd like to see more ha hammer action. Oh. Oh. I haven't unlocked. Finish. I haven't unlocked the hold down the button for a. Uh, a more powerful attack thing. Do they all have like their own? Does that guy have cocaine on him? Um, that was just <laughs> money. Mary. He just said. How white, do you know a white what a sack bag of powder? Of because I have like. seen all the bad boy movies. Oh, is that how? Yeah. Oh, I only know because they sell it outside of my building every day. <laughs> no, I. Well, you know, I live in the Tenderloin, right? Which is like. I see people with heroin needles in their arms. No. Out, you know, at my garbage can. <laughs> this is like, just... I mean, not not the one inside of my house. You that might live be a in a post-apocalyptic world. Oh, skirt. Damn it. All right. So just to I'm wrap sorry, it up, I'm, I'm getting, how are we I'm feeling getting... so far? About what? About this game hungry. in general. There's no review on the site yet. We'll probably see it in a, I would say, a day or two. A, a day or two. I, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. Um, it's it's long enough, and you know, it's possible maybe I'll play all night or something. Um, I typically oh, don't like to do that. Smash his face open. But I mean, your overall thoughts. My overall right thoughts now. are positive. Um, I mean, I know it's easy. Like the game didn't get sent out for review until the last possible minute. And I know that, that when it comes to stuff like that, like reviewers not getting the game until last minute or not getting the game at all, it's, it's really easy to say, oh, that means they're not confident. I, I can't speak to their level of confidence, obviously, but I can say this is not awful by any stretch, and I'm having a really good time. And whenever anybody says something about that, about Valkyria Chronicles, I just remember, or about, about a game, I just remember that we didn't get Valkyria Chronicles in advance. That game was awesome. So, right, so it doesn't mean just because we got it late that it has no impact on it. You know, there's a lot of good things that you can see right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, I... I what was in her, her chest cavity? I Some like cigarettes. cigarettes. 
I, yeah, do, I, do they each have different um, ending animations as well? Like just like the different weapons Does that result in like a different gory oh, animation? Oh man. Run. I really wanted to, to, to throw a Molotov into that. <laughs> Into that bit. Let me let me do that. One and more. Yeah. Then we'll 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 say good day, goodbye. Good day. I just wanted to throw a Molotov into that little bit of thing there. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, did that kill you? No, but I'm at 15 health. Run! I'm going. <laughs> oh God! <gasps> noise! The noise! Use Run. a med kit. No, well, it'll Does heal that me make up you to stop? 35. It'll heal me up to 35 right now. Oh, okay, just from not being, not taking damage. Right. God damn it. Sometimes, sometimes you want to be able to free run Assassin's Creed style and just have things sort of work out. It doesn't quite do that. A little bit more effort required on this one. Yeah, when you're, when you're, uh, <laughs> That's so rewarding. You have to be a little more conscious of the world around you. They do a really good job, too, of making sure that you don't get caught in things like you see all this stuff around and you think you can jump through it and they're like lot like electricity lines and stuff like that and it's like you know but yet it it, it works out i never get <gasps> i think oh, they're shit. coming i saw a shadow wait there's no time to rest kevin all right well i <laughs> I don't really want to stop playing. I, I feel like either. we could play this it's, it's fun. forever, but you have a review to write, so uh, we're gonna let you get ready. I believe you're gonna have to make some kind of like straw bedding by a TV so that you can finish playing this yeah, for the next 48 I mean, it, hours. It's happened before. I mean, I, I'm <laughs> certainly no stranger. I mean, usually I just go at home. Now that I have capture equipment at home, now I can just do that How at home, easy the world is. I know, right? Oh God, we have to say goodbye. I That's keep forgetting. It. I'm so, having fun with the game, and I think that says, I think that says something about about what Dying Light is, it, it again, sometimes wonky, um, sometimes a little repetitive with those missions, but really repetitive with those missions. But forever but overall, intense. oops, my 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 poor mic. But yeah, I'm having a, like overall, I'm having a really good time, much more than I ever did with uh, like Dead Island, a game that I never. A lot of people love Dead Island. It was not a game that I was ever able to get into. A, as no, much I wasn't people, a fan so. either. But this, I feel like, um, besides the very obvious direct comparisons that you can make, you know, yeah. there's zombies in bikinis. You know, well, you're and it, and it started, doing missions. You know, it started as a Dead Island game, if I recall correctly, mm. from talking to uh, Timon Smektala, who is uh, uh, one of the, you know, he's like the lead designer on the game. He came onto the podcast, and I, if I recall correctly, this started as a Dead Island, and then it ultimately just you know, evolved into, into what else. it is yeah. now. It looks like this is a lot more promising direction to go in. I love the night mechanics. I love being able to look around and have that fear. So yeah, and it, and it, and it totally looks good. I mean, they still get a little bit of that. And I know we got to keep going. I'm, I'm I'm terrible at going off on tangents, but they, they a lot of Techland games do have a little bit of that smudginess. Mm -hmm. Like they 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 go for the blur sometimes. Um, heavy blur. Heavy heavy some some blurring here and there to kind of like cover up the. You know the the, the faraway details, but overall, yeah, it's a good-looking game, and I'm having fun. Well, that's awesome. That's well, you thing. can expect the full review of Dying Light in a few days. It shouldn't be too long. And I'll be on the lobby tomorrow too. I think to talk. That's about right. It. We'll be talking about it um, maybe tomorrow to get a little bit more of a refresh after another 12 hours of playing this open-world game. Could be worse. It could be 12 hours of a bad game. Who knows? So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll see you later. And you know, just read GameSpot. Until then, yeah. <laughs> bye.